we usually walk to school or um, ride bikes to school. Sometimes trains, sometimes buses. Uh, but usually you cannot drive a car to school. Um, in Japan, you cannot get a regular car license until you turn 18. So, um, no cars. Maybe some students ride um, the mopeds or um, school buses, but I've never seen them around this area. Um, in my high school, almost everyone rode bikes to school. But some students live really far from school, and I was one of them, which sucks. <laughs> my high school was about 9 kilometers away from my house, and um, it took me about 30 minutes to get to school. Well, looking back, maybe it was like good exercise, but still. I complained about it to my one of friends, but it took him about one hour to get to school, to get to his school. So I couldn't really, really complain. However, um, on rainy days and um, windy, snowy on these days, it's really annoying. So, for example, like winter, um, sometimes roads get frozen, and um, which is very dangerous. Um, one time, um, when I was riding, a, riding on a path in rice paddy, um, I saw a car coming in front of me, so I was really, the road was really narrow, and I wanted to stop, because it was dangerous. Um, so I tried to brake my bike, but it wouldn't stop. And then, since the road was frozen, I, my bike slipped, and then I accidentally fell on the ground, fell on the road, and right in front of this car, and then I got hit by a car. <laughs> Fortunately, the car was driving really slowly, so I was fine, but it was, it was really scary. <laughs> I even had to go to school when there were typhoons. If you've never had experience of riding a bike with an umbrella, you might understand, but it's really, really difficult and tiring. Your arms get really tired. Um, I had to switch hands a lot. If you have the umbrella straight up, like this, um, not this thing is something called. This is an umbrella. This is like a stick. And if you have it straight up, the air gets caught underneath the umbrella and then it pulls it up. So it pulls it up. It's really annoying. Like, like that. So you have to make the umbrella um, aerodynamic so the air goes over it. So, not straight up like this, and then make the air goes over the umbrella. Otherwise, it just get blown away. It's really, really tiring. You might think I'm just weak, or I'm because I'm Japanese or something. But back then, I used to be a pitcher in my baseball club, and I was pretty strong. My arms were like this big, and I got this much muscle. I was a man. Anyway, <laughs> um, my arms, I think it was relatively stronger than other people, I guess. I could throw a, a softball farther than 100 meters, so. One time, um, when I was running on a path in Rance Paddy again, um, I was fighting against the wind, <laughs> um, struggling to find the best angle to make the air gets off the umbrella, but unfortunately, the umbrella wasn't strong enough, and then its body snapped in half and hit me in my forehead and got blown away into Fran's body. I don't know what happened for a couple seconds, but he, the umbrella was just not strong enough, and I laughed so hard. <laughs> And I didn't know that I was bleeding, my forehead's bleeding. <laughs> my blood was like all over my face. But since it was really windy and rainy, I didn't really know. And um, at the school, at my school, at the gates, um, we had a teachers um, that make the students greet to them, or like uh, make, um, crack the students' uniform and stuff. Um, and there is a teacher who is really mean and kind of scary. Well, I mean, he's, his face was really scary. And he was always yelling and 
not very many people liked him. And he was like, Tuck your frickin' shirt in. Your skirt is freaking too short. He was just mean. When I get to school at the gate, this teacher stare at me and counts me and yell at me, kind of like screaming, saying that what the fuck is wrong with your face? Did you get in a car accident or something? And since this was teacher was really loud and like we got like everyone's attention around us, everyone was staring at us, and <laughs> I get offended. <laughs> I almost said, what the fuck is wrong with your face? Did you get in a car accident when you were in high school? I managed it. I didn't say that. <laughs> but, um, anyway, um, he made me realize it was bleeding. My forehead was bleeding. So I thanked him and I went to Hokkien-su. 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 Nursing room? So, yeah. Riding a bike. Hard an umbrella. It's dangerous. E even though you your arms are really strong and you might think it's a really, I don't know, good exercise or something. From the viewpoint of running the bike properly, it's dangerous. You should use both hands to hold the handles. So, if you're planning on um, doing ex high school exchange in Japan, I highly recommend you trying to live as close to school as possible. 近い放送ファミリーを探すといいと思います。